AW opened up with Young Bucks and Top Flight. Top Flight's debut, Dante and Darius Martin. And the story was that they had sent a DM to Matt asking for an opportunity, and he passed it on. And now here they are having a championship match on AW television. And they went out there. They're 21 and 19. I mean, all they, sorts of great high flying. They were, they were, considering the level of experience they have, they were absolutely great. Had this great match. Bucks sold all sorts of stuff for them. Bunch of flips and dives and double team sliced bread. And Dante at the very end got a super close near fall with a crucifix, but Matt kicked out. They hit the BTE trigger and they got the pin. And afterwards, Jack Evans and Helico hit the ring. They attacked Top Flight. So apparently Top Flight's going to be around for the time being. I was surprised to not see that they were all elite by this afternoon, but maybe tomorrow. Well, they, they, they have a deal. Oh, they're signed now? Um, well, every yeah, yeah, I mean they're signed. They're signed. Okay, I don't know. I don't know that they're signed to a, a full time um, contract, but they're signed to a. But they are signed to a, a. You know, there's two tiers. There's the tier that they announce, which is full time. You're on a guarantee, and then there's the tier that they don't announce, which means that you're, which you would you would be signed, but you're signed like um, like let's say for a certain amount of money per show. So they're on that deal right now. They could be bumped to the other deal. Um, and maybe they will be this week. You know, I mean, um, they, you know, it's just, it's just a question of, you know, what, I mean, they, they certainly look great. These guys. But the question I mean, is, what does this per date deal mean? I mean, once they do their, their match with Angelico, can WWE sign them the next day? Is this a many... per date deal for X number of dates? Yeah, it'd be for a certain number of dates. Okay. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be one, you know, it might be, you know, I don't well, know. Clearly it's more than one because they shot an angle afterwards. Yeah. Well, I, I thought the angle was just to get um, Evans and Angelico, um in in you know in into something into a mix maybe for a match with the Young Bucks, not necessarily for against um, Top Flight. Although it could be, it could be Top Flight. But I thought Top Flight for their age, um, they if, if they they're you know they're like private party. They just need they're 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 for their level of experience, they're really good. They just need more experience they need they need to be doing matches over and over with good people and these kind of matches if they can work with guys like this on a regular basis um you know three years from now these guys are going to be great uh the one the other thing is is that and i noticed this both with private party and with these guys whatever it is i mean the you know every everyone credits the young bucks with a lot of stuff that they do well the one thing that they don't get credit for and it's been really clear if you watch um, AEW is that they can go in there with guys that are very green but very athletic, and I've seen this in PWG as well with um, with a lot of teams um, that that I would see them against that would, and they would have like way better matches with these teams than anybody else has. I mean that's like the Ric Flair thing, you know. I mean they're and and you know Flair always got you know, credit for that, that like Ric Flair could go in there with a really green guy who's a good athlete and make them look like they're Ricky Steamboat practically. And, um, you know, if they can do a few good moves, he could carry them through everything. And then these guys are like that as well. And this was like the perfect example because what I had heard about these guys and I'd seen them on dark and, you know, they did some cool athletic stuff on dark, but they never looked like this. You know, it's, it's just a, and, and that's, that's who you're wrestling and that's the caliber of guys those two guys are is the ability to carry guys like that and the same with private party and like um you know private party didn't have the caliber of matches that they had with the young bucks they did have some good ones with other people but i think that their matches with the young bucks have been better than their matches with anybody else so um yeah real credit to the young bucks um and um but i boy these guys are these guys could be something um, they really can. I mean, a brother, a brother team that's that athletic. Those the which which is the the um, Darius is that the no 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 Don, Don is Don, Dante's the one that jumps like crazy. Dante's the younger one. Yeah, I think Dante was freaking guy. I mean, it's not quite Montez Ford. I think Montez Ford's like the greatest jumper I've ever seen ever in pro wrestling. But this guy, I mean, he was like the next best thing and when you know you get a guy who can who you know clearly 
if you don't get as good as they are, as young as they are, without really wanting it bad, that's a given. So the fact you've got guys that are this young, this athletic, and want it this bad, these guys are going to be, these guys are going to be something someday. I mean, they, the, the the thing they got to learn now is they got to learn. I mean, I don't know if they can or they can't, but they got to learn to promo because there's so many of these guys now that come uh, come up, and in the ring they can do it all, but from a promo standpoint they can't. So if I was those guys, I would like practice your promos because if you can promo at a high level and you can work at this level in three years man you're gonna this is gonna be a great business for you to be in hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.